Schools in the Bay Area really grappling with the heat because they have limited air conditioning or they have none at all. ABC 7 News reporter Suzanne Fawn checked in with school districts today. She joins us live from San Rafael with more. Suzanne? Kristen, Larry, we are at San Pedro Elementary School. This school has limited air conditioning. Right down the street is another school that has absolutely no air conditioning whatsoever, which may be tough for some people to hear because when I last checked my phone, it was about 85 degrees out here. Students, staff, uh, folks, they have to be creative and they're looking for ways to beat the heat. No question about it, it's hot. Really hot. Yesterday, I think we clocked around 100 and maybe 106 here in San Rafael. At San Rafael City Schools, some classrooms have AC and some don't. When I pick him up, he's all sweaty and hot. Marcella DeSantis's five-year-old son goes to Sun Valley Elementary. His kindergarten classroom is cool thanks to air conditioning. It's not the coolest, but it's not super hot. But other classrooms are even warmer. According to the superintendent of San Rafael City Schools, only nine of the district's 12 elementary schools have full AC. Sun Valley Elementary and San Pedro Elementary have partial AC. Glenwood Elementary, one of the older schools, does not have any AC at all. According to the superintendent, quote, the HVAC projects for the three schools will start when school gets out in the summer of 2025, and we anticipate Sun Valley and San Pedro will be complete by the end of summer 2025. We anticipate Glenwood will be complete by the end of summer 2026. The superintendent says they're bringing in fans, reminding everyone to drink a lot of water, and for classrooms without air conditioning, schools are using the gym or multipurpose room for classes or recess. Schools having limited or no air conditioning are a big concern in California. UC Berkeley and Stanford University researchers wrote in a report last year that, quote, between 15 and 20 percent of California's TK through 12 public schools have no functioning mechanical HVAC systems at all. And today on ABC 7's Getting Answers, Dr. Sarah Hinckley of UC Berkeley's Center for Cities and Schools told us students struggle more at schools without air conditioning. As temperatures rise, students are less able to pay attention. It's harder for them to retain information. We know that we're seeing even in places in California that schools have to send children home early in, in extreme heat. That obviously jeopardizes learning for students. And we continue to have more and more research that shows that hot classrooms mean students get less out of the school day. And those researchers are also telling us that 10% of the schools across California need major repair or they need to replace their systems to function adequately. Live in San Rafael, Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News.